<laughs> Twitch, you know, anything can happen with Twitch. Okay. Sometimes it'll go through and not appear on the on screen. Sometimes it'll be the opposite. Who knows with Twitch? Shit. Hey, Doom, do you still have that weird uh, fortune cookie quote that I made earlier in, when I was like in the first dungeon? Something about... Uh, wait, did, I just missed it, but I think she said that Princess Zelda was waiting inside Turtle Rock, which is not true. Also, let me check my sub screen, because it, it's still showing pendants instead of crystals. Okay, next up is level five. This frickin' dungeon again. about that flipper glitch. to refill on fairies after that last dungeon. And I just fucked that. Uh, I'll have to remember to do that. Just in case. That flipper glitch is cartridge only? Uh, I have no idea. I just heard about it recently. Probably at Awesome Games Done Quick or something. Streaming tomorrow? Probably not, since this is <laughs> this is gonna be like um, let's uh, I, I don't know how long this stream is going to be, but it's going to be very long, my longest stream ever. Hi, Kirsten. So probably I will just not stream tomorrow and leave it at this for the week. People want to 
people might want to go back and, and watch the stream, people who weren't here, so, you know, they, they'll they have plenty of time to do that before my next stream, whenever that'll be probably next weekend sometime. Right, okay. Somehow I had three keys. Collecting keys, okay. Let me fiddle dee dee this mofo. You already missed that part. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's probably a waste of magic, but screw them. <sighs> Anything interesting going on, Kirsten, since you just got here, besides being tired? Um, you did just get here, right? I don't remember if you were here when the stream started and then you left. Oh, and Joel's still here. You haven't said anything in a while. I have, I have no way of knowing who's here and who's not. A lot of people lurking. They just, uh, that, that's fine, I guess. I guess I also don't want to run out of magic here, but it's probably not going to happen. Freaking die. <clears throat> yeah, um, Kirsten, if you really did just come in for the first time, I'll just say it one more time that I've uh, kind of sequence broken this game. I skipped over getting the Master Sword, and I'm uh, doing all the Dark World dungeons in reverse order. Yeah, I don't know how to do that em emote either. I'll have to remember that. Craygasm. K R E Y Gasm. <clears throat> it's case sensitive. Just like all of the emote things. I just save and quit just to, to make sure it saves and so I don't have to cheat myself by using save states. Okay, so next up is Dungeon 4 of the Dark World. That music. Which means I get I need to get the maiden again. Mm -hmm. 
The sound seems like it's a few bit rates off. I <laughs> you, you don't even want to know what program I'm using, all right? Um, let, let me just say this right now. One of the unwritten rules of my chat is you cannot say that uh, PCs are better than Macs. If anybody says that, Doom, you have my full of authority to time them out. Yeah, OBS doesn't support Mac yet, but they they say that they're working on a Mac version, and it'll be it'll be ready sometime in the next few months. That's all they know. But they they are working on it, but just not quickly enough. Um. But the the other thing, the reason why the sound might be a bit off, for all I know, I don't know. You, it's, it sounds to me like you're some sort of expert at Link to the Past and, and just you know that something's off in your ears or something. But I'm not... The audio that you're hearing is not coming directly from my emulator. The audio that you're hearing is coming from my built-in microphone, so it's picking up my voice and also the sound from the emulator coming out of my computer. There's another program that I could use to get the sound, but this is the way I, when I just when I just started figuring out how to stream, it just happened that I did it this way and it works fine. I mean, I, I don't see the point of of having an extra program to capture the sound from my emulator when I can just do it this way. <laughs> uh, no, no, don't worry about it. I'm only talking about somebody who's like hardcore, like, I mean, well not hardcore, but if somebody's like really, really insisting that that PCs are awesome, I don't, I don't really, it's fine if you want to talk about Linux, I've never used Linux, so I don't know. This guy is pretty weird, I just realized, is he wearing a wife beater? Yeah, and Joel, you weren't here earlier, but I, I sort of tried to explain how I, you know, I'm still using the same program on my Mac, um, which is called Cam Twist, but I actually figured out how to tweak the settings and get uh, chat to appear on the screen, which is really important, because Twitch eats a lot of messages, and in fact today it's eating a lot of messages today, like 90% of the messages it seems like a ring eaten, so it's really important. And then there's the chat delay, that you guys can see your messages come up so you know that they're being received. See, that's the thing, Daniel, is Macs are extremely expensive, but the word overpriced It's like, let me, let me use an analogy, <laughs> maybe not 90%, but let me use an analogy. If you go to McDonald's and you buy a cheeseburger for 99 cents or whatever it is, just the regular cheeseburger, I mean, think about the quality of that meat and the taste of that meat. It's like shit. Now, let's say you go to like a really high-end hamburger place that has like Angus grass-fed beef, and the hamburger costs... <laughs> it speaks to me like I'm dumb. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I, I'm getting on... Uh, you know, I, that's fine and all. You don't need to time you out or anything, but let me just get on a little rant here for a minute, if I may. Of course I may, it's my stream. Um, what was I saying? If you go to a high-end burger place and you get a really high-quality burger and it costs $10... 
but it's extremely delicious, and it's actual beef, and it's a lot healthier than the shit you get at McDonald's. And what if somebody said to you, that's, that's, that burger's overpriced because I can get a burger at McDonald's for a dollar. Well, yeah, but the burger you're getting at McDonald's for a dollar is a piece of shit. Yeah, the, I'm, like I said, I mean, you, yeah. I mean, Linux might be a lot better, so, I mean, I really can't argue with you there. Maybe, maybe you're very familiar with Linux, and maybe you're a Linux supporter, so that's fine. That's perfectly fine, but I'm just saying my views on PCs versus Macs. Where am I going here? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I could get a PC for much cheaper than a Mac. I mean, my Mac costs like $3,000, but for not having to deal with the pain in the ass shit of using a PC, it's so much worth it. And I mean, yeah, I can't use OBS, but I mean, that's not Mac's fault. That's the fault of whatever people made OBS, and they are working on a Mac version, it's just they're not working on it fast enough. Whoops. <laughs> I love McDonald's too, Joel, but not their, like, low-quality burgers. I usually get, like, chicken... I mean, well, chicken nug... Uh, uh, let's not get into a debate about McDonald's. We really shouldn't be, even be getting into a debate about PCs versus Macs, but... <clears throat> let's let's just stop all that talk. Let's <laughs> let's stop all the talks right now before somebody gets timed out. <laughs> Sarah's back. Okay, now I'm getting all confused about where I am in the game. Uh, I just beat level four. And I'm full up on fairies. <laughs> uh, so let's go to beat level three. There's, um... <clears throat> oh, wait, let me go in here. Ratmus, didn't you say that you had to leave an hour ago, and yet you're still here? <laughs> um, I don't know, for, for Joel and Sarah, what are your opinions on the snack food bugles? Do you have any opinions on that at all? Because we were talking about that earlier. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can, Daniel. I, I, I think you asked what, what was my personal best. Yeah, I'm not a speed runner. Like I said, I remember when I was a kid, I beat this game in one sitting, and it took about six hours, I think. And that's probably what it's taken me now. I started at... Uh, 8.30 about? I don't have a key. 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12. Uh, it's been about four and a half hours since I started, is that right? <laughs> um... PB is a uh, speedrunner talk for personal best. And <laughs> Sarah loves bugles, that's good. And uh, Daniel, I guess, uh, hates them because he's a, he's a Canadian health nut or something. And he runs Linux, so that's cool. W what am I doing here? Ah, okay, I want this key. And this is that horrible freaking level 3 boss, but I've got uh, all this fairies, so I'm gonna be fine. Lurker hands. 
Yeah. Um, just take care of those guys. <clears throat> oh yeah, Sarah, I was telling him about how you were like, who cares if Nutella's not healthy? And I was like, who cares if bugles aren't healthy? We're Americans and we eat all the unhealthy food that we want. Oh my god, that almost hit me. <laughs> we were talking about fried Twinkies, too. Wow, that was pretty good. But then again, I have the level 3 sword and I got to use a lot of the fire rod because I have uh, double the magic power, power. Oh my god. When I eat popcorn, I usually don't put butter on it. Like like I was saying earlier, I don't put butter on a lot of foods, just toast, because it is really kind of unhealthy. But I mean, sometimes I would put it on movie theater popcorn, sometimes. But usually if I'm just making popcorn at home, I just put salt on it. <laughs> a lot of salt, which I know salt isn't healthy either. <laughs> That's totally true, Sarah. Like I was saying, uh, uh, I've been I've been sitting here for what four and a half hours in a chair, <laughs> playing video games, eating Fritos and bugles, and this is America. What the hell? Margarine is the silent killer, but you you guys may not know why. Check this out, I just ruined my no Master Sword run, I just got the Master Sword. Oh, too bad. Himalayan pink salt? <laughs> I'm a real American. I'm a real American hero. Oh wait, that's G.I. Joe. Now, let me let me tell you why my brother said that margarine is the silent killer. It's not because it's unhealthy to eat. We saw this show, um, it was on, I don't know, maybe eight years ago. It used to be on the Discovery Channel, I think, called Seconds from Disaster. It was a really great show. Um, you know, it's it's... It's something on the Discovery Channel that tells about, like, various disastrous things that happened and why they happened and whatnot. And one of them was this, I think it was a uh, this really deadly fire that happened in, like, because in Europe, it was it was like a tunnel in Europe. Like, there, there's this, like, mountain range in the middle of Europe where they made, like, a road 
they cut a tunnel through the mountain and there, there's like a two mile long road in, in, inside this tunnel through this mountain somewhere in Europe I don't know where and like what happened I th what I think happened was there was like a huge traffic jam in the tunnel for some reason and so traffic was stopped and there was this truckload full of margarine um, maybe Ratmus can remember I forget why but something happened with the margarine because um, I don't know what margarine is basically just like nothing but like congealed animal fat or something <laughs> and somehow, some way, this truck full of margarine, and it, it was a humongous truck full of margarine, was stuck in this tunnel. I guess maybe it had something to do with the heat. It overheated, and it, it like, spontaneously combusted. And because it was, like, a semi-truck full of, like, semi-liquid oil animal fat, it, like, burned hotter than, like, anything can ever burn. Like, like it was, like, napalm or something. It, like, started, like, such an insanely hot burning fire that it was, like, just everything caught fire. And it was, like, a horrendous fireball. And, like, I don't know, probably, like, a ton of people died in there or something. And that's why we call Margarine the silent killer. Okay, well, I, yeah, I don't remember. Maybe maybe it's vegetable oil. But it, it was some type of oil that was very, like, extremely flammable. Okay. Kirk, did you just come back from somewhere? Let's see where we're at. I've gotten literally every item in the entire game, except um, the item from Ganon's Tower, which is the red mail, and the Master Sword, and one heart piece that requires the Master Sword, and the next dungeon I need to beat is Dungeon 2. Uh, okay. You're baking some brie, or did you mean bread? Did you say something about buying Earthbound? doing tomorrow afternoon, Kirk? Would that be a good time to, to maybe do Portal 2? That's okay if you're busy. Um, uh, well, Doom, what, what I want uh, Kirk to do is to play my custom Portal 2 uh, custom maps, is what I was trying to get him to do. Thank you. 
<laughs> What's that face supposed to mean? chat for a second. I never play games with you. The only games I have on Steam, the only reason I got Steam was to play Portal 2 actually. I just love Portal 2. But the only games I have on Steam are Portal 2, um, which obviously has a cooperative mode, but I've already done the cooperative mode and it's a puzzle game, so it's, you know, if somebody's... It would be me backseat gaming them if I played it with them. The other thing is Left 4 Dead, like 1 and 2, which I tried to play that... I, I played that once with you, Sarah, although I was actually on the opposite team. It didn't work out very well. Um, because I was... I was trying to get the controller to work, I was kind of unfamiliar with the game on Steam, and I was playing with Shu, and I think maybe Kirk, and Shu was, I think what it was, was Shu was drunk at the time, and so he, he was basically playing fairly bad, and he was also new at the game, and you were on a team with, I forget, I, it was, um, what's his name, Timmer, and he was like just the Left 4 Dead 2 master. Yeah, and that's the other thing, is we can play Mario Kart Wii. Well, I play that a lot with Joel, but I guess we kind of got bored with it. It gets boring after a while. But if, if you ever, you know, hook up your Wii, and you want to play Mario Kart Wii, I would totally play it. If you wanted to play a Left 4 Dead 2 cooperative campaign, I would try. I don't know how good I would be at it. Uh, I haven't been reading chat very much. Yeah, like, I, um, what was I saying? Those are really only the... Because the, the only reason I don't... I don't have a lot of Steam games, and I only have those games... Because I'm a console gamer, really. I don't, I don't like playing games on, on a computer. Which is, you know, explains, you know... I mean, the reason I have a Mac is not because... I'm not a PC gamer, and the reason that I don't like playing games on a computer is not because I have a Mac. I, it's just that I've... That's just the way I grew up, is playing games on a video game console and not on a computer. So I only have a couple of games on Steam. I got, bought them all on sale. And the other thing is, is I do have an Xbox 360, and I know you do also, Sarah, but uh, I don't really like... Oh my god, that guy died quickly. I don't really like... Well, I, I don't like first-person shooters at all, so it's like... If I wanted to play a cooperative game or a competitive game with somebody online, it's like, what game, what game is there besides first-person shooters, you know? Obviously, there's racing games like Mario Kart, and occasionally there's a game like Portal 2. Yeah, I definitely think Daniel's gonna win.
Uh, before today, the last time I played this game, <coughs> except for a, a brief setup, was last year, about a year ago. So next, we're going to level one of the Dark World to beat it. I'm definitely playing the game the way it uh, was not supposed to be played. Drunk percent. <laughs> exactly. Is such a weird sentence, Kirk. <sighs> if I did that, Ratmus, I'd encounter a game ending glitch. <clears throat> uh, I guess I gotta go the other way. I guess I, guess I should, uh, I need to get my Fritos again. In case anyone wasn't here, I associate eating Fritos with this dungeon. Well, I, I've been streaming, Sarah, so I haven't had a chance to obviously look at, at Snapchat, but... So I'll, I'll definitely look into it. If I was the fourth person in Skype, I'd have to to get to keep my Fritos with me. Um, we're talking about a, a link to the past race that is supposedly going on at some point in the near future, possibly. Um, Sarah and Kirk. Uh, I think you know the streamer named Chirpazard. He's uh, supposedly doing the race. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
<laughs> what are you talking about shaving your head? What other girls? That's probably the trigger that puts the crystals, or maybe that just puts numbers on the map. Nope, just put the numbers on the map. <laughs> so, let's see. I still have to beat the other two dungeons of the light world. I put my Fritos away. can eat. If there's an all you can eat Japanese grill, I mean that that would be pretty amazing. Especially since that goes against everything Japanese culture stands for. restaurant Kirk or do you know if it's I was talking about the portions, uh, uh, 
close. Eh, what the heck. I was talking about how <coughs> Japanese food is always given to you in specifically laid out portions, and it would be rude to overeat. But yeah, just <laughs> like insanely shoving meat in your face is uh, obviously an Americanized uh, restaurant. <sighs> Watch you doom this, uh, this boss, whatever his name is, you probably remember what his name is, is probably going to go down in one or two hits. That'd be hilarious if it was one hit. Two hits. <laughs> I would never get tossed. Hey, the pendants disappeared on my map, though, because the, the maiden supposedly marked uh, the location of the crystals. Man, what are those enemies called? The, those weird things that just came out of the sand. That one just phased up the cliff wall, which should not have been possible. Well, Daniel, you should do what I did and get the uh, level 4 sword upgrade. Then you'll have a lot less chance of being tossed off. levers. But then what are those things, those little worm-like creatures that come out of the, the ground or the sand? I don't know. It's the definition of OP. I can. <laughs> Why don't I ask Fee? <clears throat> She'll tell me how many of them I've defeated. Silver arrows are twice as powerful as regular arrows because it just one shot at those red Al Gores. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite things about 
Majora's Mask is how when you ask Tattle about an enemy, she's like, "What? You don't know what a Deku Baba is? Are you stupid or something?" <laughs> I just one shot at that guy. Did you say something about using the ice rod on these guys, uh, Doom? I'm just toying with them at this point. <laughs> Let me try the fire rod just for the hell of it. Who is who is Miss Bl Blueberry Pop Tart? Yeah, so I, I mean, I, technically I could have completed the game without doing these dungeons, but I wanted the heart containers. Ah. Blueberry. I don't know, I'd have to look at a blueberry pop tart. And the crystals still are not on here, that's strange. What you guys said was pretty funny, but I was actually laughing at what Ratmus said because he's referencing the movie Clerks, which probably only me and him picked up on. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> when she's like singing the songs and she's just moving her head around with her like mouth wide open. <laughs> That's probably true. Wait, is Fee actually talking in Japanese but in reversed? Or is it just like nonsense uh, sounds? At, at one point, um, Jay, you know, is talking about, he basically says that um, there's something called a metal face, where it's like, you make a face like you're doing, like, heavy metal rock or something, I don't know. He's like, that's just fucking metal face. Now the skull has disappeared completely for some reason. The game is just completely... <laughs> the game doesn't know what to think at this point. It's been glitched out for a while. Oh man, I remember, I remember the trouble that Chirp had in this dungeon. He went, like, there's a completely different half of the dungeon that I've never gone into. That, it, like, the entire half of the dungeon that Chirp was in, I had never even seen before. I mean, maybe I saw it back in 1991 or something, whenever this game came out, but I certainly don't remember it because I never go that way. I mean, I'll show you the way I go, which... <clears throat> I remember, yeah, Chirp was in this room and he did not know what to do. So if you're watching this Chirp on a, on a future broadcast, I remember you looked at those things and you were like, what would be the point of hammering those down? I just cannot see the point. Well, this is the point. I'm 
go into a completely different part of the dungeon. Uh, which is, this is the way I always go, which the way the chirp went is completely unknown to me. saw that on, there's some specific um, way you have to do it. <clears throat> but uh, it ended up happening to Chirp with the, the torch thing. to take the left one, I think. Down here, okay. Man, is it late. Actually, speaking of uh, speedrunners, I saw a speedrunning trick here lately. Maybe you can refresh my memory, uh, Doom. I think what it is is if I leave one of these skulls here, then I can like I can do a dash thing, and I can propel myself over to where that other enemy is, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I guess I should try it. Oh, yep, there it is, see? How do you like that speedrun strat? I've never done that before. I saw that, uh, somebody, I guess, did a speedrun of it, and I saw that, and I thought that was cool. Sorry to talk about Chirp again, but I think... Well, actually, I mean, it wasn't all Chirp's fault. I, I remember... I saw... I saw a blind Let's Play of this game, I guess, sometime. And somebody made the same mistake that Chirp did also, which is going left here. And Chirp said, how are you supposed to know that you need to go up? Well, the only thing I can tell you is that there's Triforce markers out to the left and right of this door, which I guess should give you the indication that the Triforce is important, maybe this door is important. I mean, that's, that's the only indication. Hey, Jams. We've been sequence breaking the hell out of this game for... 10, 11, 12, about five hours now at least. Getting close to the end. I think I have full on fairies. There might be some fairies in there, so I don't need them. And this leads right to the chest. And then you can just instantly use the magic mirror. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I mean, how would you think that my force tells me where I should go? I mean, that's it's not like that's a that's a thing in Zelda like you always follow the Triforce or something. I mean, I guess it's the case in this dungeon. Trying to avoid getting hit by that anti-fairy. Now I'm just taking all sorts of damage. <laughs> Again, talking about Chirp, but like, he killed those uh, enemies and then he was like, What's the point of this moving this statue? Well, the point of moving this statue is to trap these traps so that you have better room to maneuver, that's all. I'm going into Professor Rockman mode at this point. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that, like, the game is so brutal at this point that it's like, you went the wrong way, the door closes, you gotta do the whole thing all over again. It's like, that's pretty ridiculous. You've never actually used that statue for anything? Well... Then you, be you better study up on Professor Rockman's syllabus, because that's going to be on the test. Another Well, obviously you know about this, Doom. If I could do it. But that's how you get over there, which is the trick that I used earlier as a speedrun tactic. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of weird. Did I even need to go in here? Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, this is what I call the Bombos floor. Because they just Bombos the hell out of everyone in this floor and... I literally do not give 1.5 fucks. Statue of Ganon holding the Triforce right above his crotch is what uh, Rabbit was talking about. In case you didn't already know about Ganon humping the Triforce. getting to the end of the game, right? We just have to beat Aghanam here, and then it's Ganon time. Watch your seizures, kids. 
Watch your sexting. I hope there's a magic refill. Uh, although I don't think I need magic to beat Ganon, but... <laughs> I get wrecked. Say like, oh, we meet again or something. Oh, I don't have any magic. Oh boy. Better give me some more magic refills. This is all the magic I got to work with here. Uh... Oh my god. Ooh! I was really scared that, that, that I had screwed up. Oh, and here's my magic refill. Oh good, because I need magic here. I, that was really stupid. At this point, this is a no potion run, so. We can do this without potions. I don't know what's in here, I don't think it's useful. Two things of bombs? Jeez. Yeah, better make sure I have two things of bombs to get in here. Daniel's laughing at me right now. Now I'm laughing at myself. Killing my speed run. For a second, I thought he died there, and I was like, What? It's just 20 rupees. Are we almost at Aghanam yet? Screw you, two of you. What are these, baby helmosaurs or helmosaurs? Uh, I guess I should use the bug catching net at least once, right? Difficult with three of them, though. I had 
him once. Hit him twice. You know, I didn't even read his dialogue when I came in here. But he probably said something like, oh, we meet again. Now explain to me how this duck works in the dark world this one time. Explained. <laughs> okay, now you guys all know that I have uh, completed this game 100% except for the Master Sword and one heart piece, which I'm just going to che double check that heart piece right here. Um, actually, it looks like a Batman. It, it looks like, like, Batman, like the bat signal, doesn't it? I suppose it could be Darkwing Duck as well, but I always thought it was the Batman logo. magic dust on those cactuses. Huh. Now he said the fog in the forest is clearing. But let's go see if that's true. Fog still looks there to me. bomb there. <laughs> yeah, I never thought about that. If a duck goes into the dark world, shouldn't its shape change and it should become like a human or something? Master Sword's still there. I'm not gonna get it. Oh yeah, apparently you can't duck out of there. The duck will come to the dark world, but he won't come underneath the bridge or to where the Master Sword is. I'll do that, but I'll do that... Um, I guess I could have save-stated. Do you want me to do that right now? I was gonna try and do that after I complete the game, but I guess I could just save state, see what happens, and then unsave state. Let's do that. 
You mean, why beat it with a level 4 sword? Uh, because I want to. Well, um, because I'm getting 98%. And yes, I'm casual, I'm not a speedrunner. <sighs> Casual's not in the title, but... Uh, what do you mean you gotta go? No, I'm just gonna beat Ganon, so it's not like you're missing much here. Okay, um, let's see. I have a level 4 sword. So let's see what happens. Bye, Ratmus, if you are going. See, level 2 sword. And there's the message from Zelda. Alright, let me go back and check the lumberjacks first. Because they, it was weird, they said the fog is clearing, and but I don't think they're telling the truth about that. I mean, I don't think it means anything. Yeah, okay. Got full fairies. Missing a heart piece. Fine. Better than Chirp's fight. I think somebody said um, the other day that if you hit this tree, a fairy always comes out. Okay, it must have been this tree. <sighs> Kinda like to go in there with full health and magic, okay. Why did that guy still take so many hits even with this sword? I think it might have looked like that when it actually fell down there. But um, check this out. You can run up to Ganon and hit him immediately before he starts talking. That's another reason why I would not want to use the uh, level 2 sword, is dealing with that stupid spin attack nonsense. Okay, maybe I'm uh, doing this a little too dangerously. Thank you. 
think he only needs one hit. Sarah, have, have you not beat this game before? Oh, that was cheap. That was... That's complete bullshit. Okay, well, I just, I was about to say some sort of swear word, but whatever. So apparently I just spoiled it for Sarah and Jams. Um, so I just beat this game um, 98%. I didn't get the Master Sword and I didn't get one heart piece. Um, I also did it without ever using a potion. I did use a lot of fairies, though. I never had an actual game over. I did use abuse, save and quits a lot, and a couple of glitches and tricks and whatnot. <laughs> Apparently Kirk has never beat it either. No, I... S I s I said that I didn't give 1.5 fucks, but you never know. I might, I might, I might give 1.2 fucks. <clears throat> Skipped over getting the master sword. Used a couple of different glitches, save and quitting, and then beat. Uh, well, I beat the first dungeon of the light world first because you have to, and then I beat all the dungeons in reverse order after that. And how long did it take? 30, about five hours and five and a half hours, something like that. And and also thanks to everyone, thanks to Doom for for rating me. I think it was you rated me, right, Doom? And basically because of that, this is probably the biggest, most popular stream I've had. That and the fact that it's also the longest stream I've ever had. The Return of the King, isn't that uh, a Lord of the Rings thing? And yes, there's the Loyal Sage, aka Sal. <laughs> anyway, I was going to say thanks to everyone who um, watched whether it was for the whole time or part of the time or lurking or whatever. And also people who may watch this on a future uh, recording, recording of this in the future. There's the Mexican guy. He knows how to open chests, don't ask me why. You, you could not pay enough for that to happen. I don't know if you guys know this, but, well, I'm sure, <coughs> like, 99% of you know that I've already done Zelda 2, but I've decided that sometime in the future, um, I'm going to do Zelda 2 again, um, this time without getting the candle and without getting the cross, and that should make it a lot more difficult. Apparently, Pants, welcome... <laughs> I've never seen you before. Welcome. You've you've missed the entire stream, yes. It was my longest stream ever, five and a half something hours. You can always go back and watch the past broadcasts uh, if you want to. <laughs> Is anybody streaming this late? Does anybody, um, is there anybody to raid, or is everyone just going to go straight to bed? <coughs> yeah, I figured, you know, you guys would, would rather see me 
do some insanely difficult challenges than... Well, I mean, it's... You guys seem to like me just doing Zelda 2 and explaining it, but... I figure make the, make the game even more difficult and still be able to do it. Just like I, I did with this game. No, I'm, I'm not... Uh, the stream will be ending after this ending. streaming doom <laughs> Sarah is trying to start a chant and the master sword sleeps again until Miahon gets off his ass no um Daniel when I got the master sword it did give me the level 2 sword I guess um tired. I mean, there's, there's probably stuff I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? No, I'm not beating Ganon with the Master Sword. Screw that. <laughs> what do you mean it will benefit me all in caps to continue? The only other... The, um, I guess I would be kind of interested. I could reload the state and see if I could get the master sword and then have it be, you know, retempered by the smithies, but I'm pretty sure it can be. keep it going after the credits for a little bit more and I guess I'll test that out if you guys really want to stick around and then if you guys still want to raid somebody I'll figure it out it's if, if I click into my browser then the emulator will stop and also, I've been having this thing a lot lately where if I open a second window of Twitch, it crashes all the Twitch windows. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Jams, how old are you? Probably old enough to be some people's dad in this stream. Maybe not that old. Please, please me, oh yeah. Are you immortal, Jams? You ever watch the show or the movies of Highlander? I love those that show. Really the show more than the movies. And these are all save and quits. I never game over it. What are you talking about? They also, they're, they're probably a little bit skewed toward, towards Turtle Rock because I beat that and it probably screwed it up. <sighs> See, 
Doom knows what he's talking about. See, Sarah's wanting to go to bed. Good night, Sarah. Thank you for all the compliments as usual. I guess I have to reset here, right? Okay. Uh... So I, I reloaded that save state. Uh, I'll get the master sword again and we'll see what happens again. Maybe I'll get that last heart piece just for the hell of it. <laughs> what? Now you're not leaving? <laughs> Look at this guy, and he's still alive after being like attacked by this insanely powerful sword that like killed so many bosses in two hits. And he, yet he, it didn't. That guy didn't give 1.2 fucks. I, I see. Okay, bye, Daniel. Yeah, that is strange that Captain Planet's uh, not streaming. <laughs> I'm sure uh, Shu is not streaming, otherwise he probably would have uh, mentioned that. You know what else, if, if some of you really don't want the stream to end, why don't I go beat Aghanam the first time? How long did that, you know, Ganon told that guy to stay in that bush for how long, just in case the frickin' hero of time just happened to come by? Okay, these guys are still doing this tree. I think, I think you actually have to beat Aghanam for them to get out of there, so. Um, uh, what are we doing? Okay. We got the level 2 sword now, downgraded from level 4, so let's go to the smithy and see if we can get it upgraded to the level 3 sword again. <laughs> Does anyone know what is behind this thing and why you need the hammer to get there? Why was that thing protecting two bushes? Look at this this bitch still there talking about me stealing Princess Zelda or whatever. And apparently Doom, you didn't know about this. Yeah, I, I knew about that from before. It's like, why wouldn't you try that? You got a hammer. Do you know what triggers the sword? How far away I have to go or something? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't have a sword. Still the Kakariko Village music. I guess defeating Aghanam is what uh, gets that. You, uh, 
apparently pants you've never seen the thing with the the hammering on the the blacksmith thingamajig I don't know cuz I thought if you left the screen just one screen it wasn't enough I know it's enough for well I don't know Okay so now we have the level 3 sword so let's get the level 4 sword. You can just warp to the dark world and back? Okay. Now is is the... I don't think the warp is there at Death Mountain either. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if you saw, apparently, Pan, since you missed um, the game, I guess, but I did a little sequence breaking in this game. When I was originally up on Death Mountain, before I beat, before I got all the pendants, I used a glitch to get down from Death Mountain, and then I went into, well, first I got the hammer, then I got the Titan's Mitt, and then I had the Smithy's temper my sword from level 1 straight to level 3 because I never got the master sword. Pallet Town? Where the heck am I going? What's Pallet Town? Okay, now well, let's re get the level four sword. Uh, yeah. Did that just say, you can feel your sword's power throbbing in your hand? That's pretty appropriate for this late night chat we got going here. Alright, here's what we're going to do now. We're going to defeat Aghanam for the second time, but actually the first time, or maybe the first time, actually the second time. <laughs> yes, um, I have never played a Pokemon game. Pokemon came out when I was probably in my late teens. Um, You guys will probably hate on me for not liking Pokemon. The only... Everything that I know about Pokemon, I learned about from playing Smash Brothers Melee and Smash Brothers Brawl. So that's all I know. Late night chat. Late night stream with Rockman. I made the chat for people who are age 30 and older. <sighs> Pretty much everyone would have to leave except me. And then anyway, once I beat Aghanam here, I can get that last heart piece that I've never been able to get. And uh... <coughs> HBO and Skinamax right here. Joel's already half asleep, so I should hurry this up. Yeah, I know, Cod, you're almost in your 30s. Oh my god, that's so old. I 
called you Cod instead of Doom, sorry. Want some of this pot? Catching net. <laughs> look, look at that guy. I'm like whipping this sword, this throbbing sword, right in front of him, and he's just like not even noticing it. <laughs> I thought that was only after you drank sake. About to make a Skittles joke there, Sarah, but I won't. You guys are talking about dates. Um, I was about to tell yet another story about a blind Let's Player I saw. <laughs> it's not a. Th this one's not a sex joke. I'm sorry. Oh, you're talking about the Skittles thing. But um, okay. Well, you said sexuality is a rainbow after all, and I was like, taste the rainbow. Real funny, right? But um. Anyways, I, I saw a blind Let's Player on YouTube playing this game. I, I think it was a she, if I remember who it was correctly. I don't know. I watch a lot of Let's Plays. But when she got to this point, she obviously didn't know that you're supposed to cut the curtains. So she was, like, totally stumped and thought that she had done something wrong. And I think she, like, saved and quit because there's no way to get out of this room and then like beat the entire dungeon again to get to this point because she thought she had done something wrong. Uh, let's see, Tony's telling a joke now. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Just telling a story. Somebody, I think it was Chirp, or maybe it was somebody else, asked a question, like, how are you supposed to know if he does this attack? See, he can come up here to the middle top of the screen and actually do a regular attack, but the way that you know that he's going to do the lightning is if you stand next to him and he still faces down. If you're standing there and he's still facing down, he's going to do the lightning attack. But he could come right here and do his normal attack, and he'll turn and face you if, he, if that's the case. He's doing his force lightning again. Hmm. 
If you just sit and listen to this boss music, it's pretty repetitive, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> How do you like that? Sasha Rasha. Once again, his facts are totally irrelevant and out of date. Well, it is a uh, late night chat, so you're allowed to say that. Oh, wait, I want to check the map. <laughs> Nothing's marked on the map. Right, so we got one last heart piece to get. And I guess I could beat Ganon again, but I don't see the point. I actually put the the portal right on the portal, pretty much. Oh, did, did the... I didn't see. Yep, there's the crystals. Nothing on the map. But the crystals are on my subscreen now. Sarah hungry <laughs> for totally unhealthy food. Yeah. Southern Sarah's coming out. Um, okay. Well, guys, it's going to be pretty sudden at this point, but this is going to be the end. <clears throat> Just mark off that final piece on my checklist, which is now complete. Stream is going to be ending. One hundred percent completion. Let me check my, um, hopefully this won't freeze anything. Nobody I know is streaming. Did you guys want to raid anyone else? If so, post a link. Because I will definitely be stopping in a few minutes. <clears throat> Apparently pants. Um, I named my file Smoke after a, a fellow streamer friend of ours who's... Uh, name is actually Smoke Alok. He's a good streamer. You should check him out. Also, ap apparently, Pants, if you are new around here, a, a lot of people in this chat also stream. Sarah Gracie, Co Doom, that's how you pronounce his name. Actually, pretty much everyone in here is a good streamer, so 
You should check them out too. Okay, um... Why not? <laughs> I'm getting slow down. I'm uh, typing out my raid call. <clears throat> That's the raid call. Go to Gaming with Mist and uh, copy and paste that message in there. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm pretty tired. Uh, th again, thanks everyone for watching, and let's just uh, end the stream. Sorry that I know you guys don't want it to end, but it's ending. See you next time. <laughs>